Hello, welcome today. Just doing a small tutorial on how to set a fan cycling control for a refrigeration system. Um, why do we do that? Well, we set those controls to ensure proper operation of the expansion device during periods of low outdoor ambient temperature or to control the head pressure on equipment with multiple compressors and or hot gas defrost or bypass. Um, but typically you're going to be using this control for the outdoor ambient temperatures. Um, so when do we have to put this on the control? Well, anytime you get an outdoor temperature that below, drops below 55 Fahrenheit or 12 degrees Celsius, typically you may require this control. Uh, you know, at 12 degrees Celsius, you know, it's sort of on the line whether or not you're going to use this control, but it all depends on what system you're, you're trying to control refrigeration wise. Um, what do I use personally? Uh, in North America with the climate sort of dictates this and you're going to have condensing units in places that are cold, I would recommend using a Ranko or a Danfoss auto reset high pressure control. Something that you can adjust so you can set it up for the various refrigerants. Um, you're going to wire this control to make on a rise in pressure in series with the condenser fan motor. So how do we do that? Well. Adjust the control to maintain a saturated discharge temperature of between 85 Fahrenheit to 105 Fahrenheit or if you work in Celsius 29.5 degrees Celsius to 40.5 degrees Celsius. So those are the magic numbers. That's what you're looking for. So whatever refrigerant you're going to be using, you're going to take a look at your PT chart um, and you're going to correspond your pressures to suit those temperatures. All right. So for example, I've selected R404A, I'm going to set the control to close at 254 PSI or 1750 kPa. And then I'm going to have it open up at 188 PSI, which is a differential setting of 66 PSI. Or if you use kPa, you're going to be between 1750 and 1295 with a differential of 455 kPi. So once you get that into your pressure control, um, you're going you're gonna to set it up as best you can because like I say when you set a pressure control just because you have it nearest the numbers on the control doesn't mean it's set there. So you're going to connect your gauges and you're going to test your switch and make sure that it cuts on and cuts off um, at those settings. And if you get it set up perfect like that you're never going to have a head pressure problem again because the, the system's going to completely take care of itself and your customer is going to be very, very happy when, when, the, when the temperatures get cold um, and the system cycles off because if you ever worked in a cold climate, you'd find out that um, just because one day the system's working fine, you'll have a cold snap go through overnight, the system will shut down for a longer or extended period of time and all of a sudden your refrigerant condenses outside in your condensing unit and when it comes time to start up again, she doesn't start up. That's why we put these head pressure controls on there. So it maintains that. So there you go. If you were ever wondering how to do that, that's how a pro does it. Use your magic numbers, 85 Fahrenheit to 105 Fahrenheit or 29.5 Celsius to 40.5 Celsius. Anytime you have an ambient temperature that can possibly go be below 55 Fahrenheit and 12 degrees Celsius. All right, hope that helps. Um, leave a like or subscribe. Uh, I enjoyed making the videos for anybody that's struggling with this kind of stuff because I know when you're a new grad, even though they give you all the knowledge, it's hard to piece it together. So, happy hunting. Thanks for watching.